So the first feature we're going to cover today is called XDRX based on SLR. This can have a different naming for the vendors, but in general, this is a very simple feature and having a very simple mechanism where the inode B will simply instruct the UE to go out of their, to, to completely disable the DRX for this particular users, for a, a specific users, in case if the user's radio condition in the uplink is falling below a certain threshold. So what what can I mention here based on SLR? For example, as, let's assume that you have a configured value for uplink SLR in the inode B side. So you configure this value for 5 dB. So the, the inode B all the time having is measuring the uplink radio condition of the users, either based on the SRS, if it's being enabled for FDD as an example, or which is stands for sounding reference signal, or for example, measuring in general, estimating the uplink BOCH SLR. So in case of the SRS is not being enabled. So the NLB will estimate the SNR. And once, for example, it's found it's falling below the configured threshold, which we assumed as 5 dB. Let's assume now the user is having 4, 3 dB or 2 dB SNR. So the NLB will send them a RSU confusion message to disable completely the DRX to ensure that this user will never enter the DRX whenever his uplink SNR is in a, a, a bull radio condition. So what is the benefit we can obtain for that part? Actually, as mentioned here, the, first, the, this, the three main benefits we are, where we can obtain from this enabling the DRX in general, which is reducing the bucket loss. I will explain why and how, and also improving the voice quality and downlink scheduling delay. So now, just to understand from where this gains might come, Let's try to recall our understanding of the Volti DRX or DRX in general, particularly for Volti. So before explaining the, the concept uh, of this kind of improvement, where it comes, why it's coming when we disable the DRX, just let's recall three main important parts. The first part in 4G retransmission, usually if the user is out of TTI bandwidth state, is remaking the retransmitting every eight milliseconds. Means that if the users fail to decode the there is a failure to decode for example the bucket transmitted bucket from the NUDB side the retransmission will happen after eight milliseconds and the second one here which is the volte rated volte bucket delay budget as we explained in the first session it's it's 100 milliseconds so whenever the 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 bucket is delayed for a value greater than this 100 milliseconds this means the value the bucket will be discarded it will be even lost or discarded and the, the last, the second part here in between, that we mentioned that the NUD usually will buffer the data in case we we'll buffer the data in the buffer, we keep it in the buffer in case if the user is already in DRX mode. So it cannot send the data to the user until he is out of the DRX mode. DRX means this continuous reception where the user is in sleeping mode, so he cannot receive any data. So let's now try to explain what we have. Now, as you can see here, this is uh, the, the settings we, where we assume the something called end duration parameter for DRX is 4 milliseconds. We'll explain what it means by this. And long DRX cycle, which is 400 milliseconds. And this is usually the recommended settings by Apple, as this is known. You can find this in most of the Volti networks, uh, this kind of configured value. And for example, now let's try to explain through, through this particular mechanism. As you can see here, for, for this, assuming that now the NUD already received a, a, a Volti packets and it would like to transmit this Volti packets and the downlink to the users. So this here, this is the user and this is the DRX state. So this packet cannot be transmitted from the NUD to the UE until the user go to the on duration timer. On duration means he's awake, he's out of the DRX and he's awake, he can now receive a packet. So in this particular case, the NUDB can transmit it here, but if you remember that the Volti packet in general is trans transmitted every 20 milliseconds as mentioned here, but in this case, because the, the long DRX cycle uh, is 40 milliseconds, this means the packets will be transmitted every 40 milliseconds, but it will be bundled every 40 milliseconds, we'll have two packets. So now, the NUDB will buffer the packets until the user go to the uh, on duration timer, as you can see this on duration timer, which is 40, 4 milliseconds, so the user is awake for 4 milliseconds only, and is waiting for the NUDB to start transmitting the data. So the NUDB now did that downlink transmission. As you can see here, this is the BDCH and this is the allocated, for example, buckets and BDCH resources in general. So in case if this particular bucket is being failed, it's not somehow it's not being decoded or there is, so the NUDB need to, to make the retransmission after eight milliseconds, right? But this is cannot be done, right? Because first of all, we have something again called long DRX cycle. And this long DRX cycle where the user will go to into the sleeping mode. It's called, it's 400 milliseconds. 
So he will be awaking within this long direct in the beginning of long direct act for only four milliseconds, and the remaining 36 milliseconds will be in a sleeping mode, which is this part. This is the sleeping mode, and this is now awake mode. So he would be again going to me, and the NUD cannot do the retransmission until the user again is in, in the on duration timer. So the, at the end of the long direct cycle, it will start a new long direct cycle, and the user now will come again into uh, in the awake mode and duration timer here for four milliseconds and start receiving. Now assume that again this packet, particular packet, is being failed. What will happen in this case? It happened that now it's almost 80, 80 milliseconds, right? So now the NUD again need to retransmit the same packets, but again after this long direct cycle, which is again after 40, 40 milliseconds. And again, if you remember, we mentioned that the packet delay budget is 1 millisecond. So assume that the retransmission happened at the, at the second 110 millisecond. This means it's crossing the 100 millisecond, so the packet will be lost and discarded, so the user will lose the packet. So actually, once you disable the DRX, what will happen? The NUD will, will have the NUD now will have the capability and will transmit the, the, the data or the packet at any time to the user, which is, means every 20 milliseconds it can be transmitted. So we, you will have you will have many opportunities to retransmit the packets in case of the retransmission. In case of two or three retransmission attempt for this 40 millisecond, now we can have even having up to, for example, five or even more because the NUD can transmit the packets now every 20 milliseconds, not every 40 milliseconds, as an example for that part. Also, in general, as you can see here, that the, 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 re, the, the transmission in general is sending every 40 milliseconds, but in case if the race is off, so it will be every 20 milliseconds. So this also can improve the downlink scheduling delay or latency, because now the NUD, the user is in DRX, so can transmit all the time every 20 milliseconds. And the, in general, the, the voice quality can improve if, if the user is out of DRX because the latency is improving, so this can even have a better voice quality. So this is the main actually advantage of this feature. And the last part I would like to highlight, it's about the trade-off. For sure, if you disable the DRX, this kind of long DRX cycle is just made to keep the users in, in the sleeping mood where he, there is no retransmission or receiving, so this can save some battery. And also there is some probabilities in case if the user is in a very bad radio condition, he will not be even able to receive this RS recuperation sent by the NUD, and this is, can result in even RS establishment can result in cold drop. So this is like cannot be a trade-off of that part. And in general, the, 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 the DRX settings can be checked from during the QCI1 setup. You will find RS recuperation message, including this on duration timer. For example, here mentioned subframe four, means four subframe, which is equivalent, each subframe is one millisecond, equivalent four millisecond. And you have the long DRX start offset, which is here mentioned as SF40, and this is equivalent to 40 milliseconds. And that's all about this feature. The next part, I was just being showing that this kind of improvement was observed after tuning this feature. The Volti uplink packet bad voice quality ratio from the OSS KBI is improved. As you can see here, the ratio is around 1.5%. 1, 1. It reduced to 1.1, even less. And for sure, the, the users in DRX, for example, before the user was entering more frequently, more users will enter DRX. Now less users are entering because you are a, now the user is exiting the DRX. So this is, can be the, the, the impact from the KBI's point of view.